is the major. I'm going to talk project management with you. My videos look at the topics through a project manager's perspective. And nothing needs that more than climate change, so I'm going to start there. I'm not going to be debunking anyone. I may disagree with a conclusion, but that does not mean that what was said is irrelevant. For example, a significant issue made against taking climate related actions is that the cost outweighs the benefit. Saying that the economics of preventing climate change is just too high a cost. <laughs> the idea of cost versus benefit is entirely correct and far too often left out of the discussion. I do disagree with the conclusion and I'll explain why in a future video. And this is where project management comes in. Stop asking climate scientists what to do. They don't design smart grids or have a strong understanding of finance. It's not their specialty. They are focused on technical solutions, not their cost effectiveness. What's needed is a multidiscipline team that includes but is not led by scientists. And by the way, important parts of the solution really don't have a lot to do with technology per se. I'm going to give you an example. Maybe this will generate a comment or two. Shipping today accounts for 2% of worldwide emissions. Right, Lacey? And how about a 2% tariff, therefore, on all goods arriving by sea or air, with that money being used to fund climate-related projects? With the understanding that, by the way, the other countries can do that to the U.S. in return. We don't have to wait for a big global agreement. We can do that. We can do that today. I will explain in a further video, but this is what I would call an obvious action that can be taken. It's not about climate scientists. It's not about climate science. It's about taking action that's going to have some short-term pain, but is better off for everyone in the long term. And I'll bet that shipping emissions come down pretty fast as a result. The situation is not hopeless, so please don't say that it is. Do I wish the next 50 years were going to be along the lines of the second half of the 20th century? Sure. But it's going to be tougher. Would I rather my children face this challenge than say have been born in 1900. Well, let's see, 1900, in their first 50 years, they had two world wars, a pandemic, and a decade-long financial depression. Yeah, I'm gonna take 2023 over 1900 every day of the week. So yeah, we're gonna have issues with climate, and it's, they're not the only ones, by the way. Population, both excessive growth, and depopulation, wars, unrealistic expectations, political instability, immigration, the list goes on. And those are the ones that we even think of today. Yeah, that's what's ahead. But the human race will get through it. And the, by the way, as a person who was born in the 1960s, it was no walk in the park. So I'm gonna identify some roadblocks. Today's big country roadblock is China, for example. Evaluate what texts are ready to be used. Go over some lessons learned from the past and what's working and not working today. Inject some realities into topics. Net zero is not going to happen anytime soon, for example. Suggest solutions and hopefully move the discussion forward. At a top line, economic growth needs to be tied to carbon intensity. If you don't grow with a solid focus on how your emissions are, you pay a penalty. Solutions are gonna have a lot more stick than carrot. The words justice and fairness, you're not gonna hear me too, use too much because the problem itself is not fair. Expectations for my videos. I'm a retired certified level three project manager with experience on multiple projects worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Engineering degree, master's in business, real world life experience, in corporations and the military. And I've taken climate seriously for a long time. I first put solar panels on my house in the year 2009. And I also recently bought an SUV. So like most people, 
I have good intentions, but sometimes I'm a hypocrite. And this channel is U.S. centric, by the way. I am retired. No one is helping me do this. Video quality is not going to be particularly polished. There's no staff here helping me do it, at least not for now. If this ever starts making money, I pledge to put the money right back into the channel and nothing else. I don't need subscribers to fund my retirement. So, like, comment, subscribe. I promise to listen to your comments and read them, all of them. I promise that whatever your thoughts are, I will make you feel a little bit uncomfortable and hopefully nudge you to first thinking about it a little more and then not just on thoughts, but on moving towards actions that our country and the world needs to take. Thank you and look forward to talking to you more.